Greetings, everyone. Uh, on behalf of Behind the Chair, I am proud to be on stage with uh, my, one of my favorite educators of all time. We've been uh, on the American Crawl Star team doing damage for how many years? <laughs> <laughs> About 15 years, yeah. I believe. Yeah, yeah so, at least. so 20 for me. So uh, there's a reason that we are still with American Crew after that many years. Actually, it's because, 20, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, oh, my it's, God. It's, yeah, so you know, obviously, we've American Crew established itself as the leader um, in men's hair and grooming, um, you know, back in '94. So it's been so amazing to be able to spread that message globally. You know, see this brand grow and see the barber community and the hairdressing community just really take hold of it and, and turn it into just this behemoth that it is yeah. right now. Um, and we've got we've just got so many cool things to talk to you about today. Mainly. Um, this HQ collection um, that we're that we're featuring in terms of what we're doing technically today, but also, um, you know, what... yeah, the American Screw All Star Challenge. Of yeah. course, it's a very important, uh, amazing, exciting time of the year because uh, this is when the whole global competition comes alive, yeah. and we are very much searching for the best in the industry. And everybody, uh, it's able to like enter that amazing competition. So yes. that's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, I think it's it, it's maybe one of the coolest vehicles to get people in, in, involved with American Crew and creating the imagery um, that has really been the the, like the cornerstone of, of American Crew's messaging is, is really through our imagery and through our education. So we're kind of bringing yeah. both of you, um, we're bringing both of those things into into our presentation today. So um, I'm, I'm so going to jump into it and talk a little HQ. Yeah. Um, and we'll just we'll get started. All right. Sounds great. Um, yeah. So you guys, the reason the reason that we do collections um, is there. We feel like classic men's hair was already established with American Crew right out of the gate. What we started finding is once once guys really got a hold of it, and once hairdress, hairdressers were doing great men's hair, we kind of took it to another level. Right, there became a kind of an editorial component, uh, a need to push things outside of just a strictly classic messaging. So we started creating trend based collections and so you know that's been happening since uh, really since the beginning of the brand so um hq is our current new collection this is this is something that, that we've just brought to the table and um, i just want to sort of reference these images behind me here um, you can tell that what we've done is we've really brought back uh the flat top um, so there there's a there's a very distinct 90s inspiration. Um, there is a very, very classic component, right? Because the flat top is classic at its roots, but um, we wanted to bring an editorial edge to it. Um, so, so that's that's kind of what we're doing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of get into it here um, with Jack's hair. So we've uh, we've already created what is the most critical part of the collection, which is starting with a high horseshoe and then dropping it low. Um, and, and if you have the appropriate length, you can actually drop this down onto the occipital bone. Okay, so I've, I've moved mine up a little bit higher just because of the length of his hair. Didn't, di didn't dictate that I could go that low. So I've just moved it up a little higher, but you can still see that drop down. Um, and that, that really sort of, it, it sort of sets the, the template for what you're gonna create with the shape, right? So the, the idea is that building out the silhouette um, with with you know with a graduated angle, particularly in the back half of the head, is really critical. Um, from the front half, the shapes are really really lean, right? If you're bringing a flat top, you've got to have a, a lean shape, and we're using that little bit of length at the top of the graduation to sort of spearhead that that directional component and that silhouette. So. I've already established the basic head shape, right? I've done the parting, did my clipper work, did my freehand. I'm now going to go into the top, and I'm simply going to take a side-to-side -side section right behind the ear, and I'm going to divide that back transition into three sections and basically create a square shape back here that's then going to be my guide to creating the length on the sides, and then I will then create the flat top um, in the interior. And so the, the biggest thing you're going to notice today, obviously with the collection, we've got you know, mostly we've got really, really straight hair um, for the for the signature um, shapes. You know, like Andre, obviously, it's it's just really we really worked with kind of getting straight hair elevator. But you know, the highly the high texture story is really really important to on the other end of of um, HQ. So so really bringing that square shape back into high texture. So now we've got both of us today are actually working with um, wave and texture and curl. Um, 
so this is kind of this is a, this is a, a little bit of a, a alternate take on HQ. So so we're we're actually going to both work with texture. I'm going to stretch mine a little bit and create the squareness, but it, we're not. Gonna, I'm not going to try to pull this texture out of his hair. So Navenna, what is the story with uh, with the haircut you guys are doing? Well. Um, my beautiful and handsome model, Andrew, has the most incredible curls. And um, I know that because I actually cut his hair a lot. And um, what I like about it is that uh, he is a typical story of, uh, you know, how we see like these round shapes. And that's something that classically we've been speaking about many years through our history of education. We are always looking for a lean, tall shape. And this is what um, the story has been for a very long time with every haircut that you've seen but here the difference is the graduation and also as paul mentioned the actual like horseshoe part that it's now dropped at the bottom um, which allows you to be a little bit like more organized with your visual cutting because oftentimes i actually use the prep and prime which is our amazing new product it is a new tonic that basically gives you the ability to refresh the scalp also it really helps you to like moisturize the hair but gives you a slight hold so that that way you can actually see your part you can work very precisely you can have a better vision but also um, when the hair is shorter you have a bit of a hard time with you know just sectioning off so visually what I've done here is separate the part and like work with my clipper but if the hair was shorter prep and prime would also help you to do that so amazing product I'm so glad we finally have that um, and with Andrew I started with my Clipper over comb um, is what I, what I would normally use to kind of start off and take a lot of the bulk of the hair at first. That's how I did it. And then I went with a freehand style with my number one blade. And uh, what I end up doing, it's like just really gradually like taking this um, kind of approach with the freehand style clipper work and i think in general with the whole collection you see a lot of scalp exposure but mostly at the very front of the actual part of the hair um, i think i'm probably gonna go further down and make it slightly more aggressive at the neckline here and i was just waiting to show you guys how that will be done um, what i like about it is that you know, we are always looking and getting inspired by what's happening around the world. Um, as you probably noticed, like I always laugh, but you know, we are international hairdressers. Nowadays, Instagram really helps us to kind of see what happens in the other side of the world. And when American Crew All-Star Challenge was actually started, we were actually able to see so many amazing, beautiful images from around the world. Um, I actually have my, you know, personal favorite, but the story was that Face Off is the original name of the competition and it started in Australia. Um, I don't know if Paul remembers, but when we actually had like these magazines that they were bringing from Australia, I was always so excited and inspired to see what the looks are because you see different textures, you see different models, you see a lot of people who basically are, um, you know, kind of using American Group products, but really like achieving different looks with like amazing textured hair. And um, this was my personal vision for kind of like set treading, you know, like we were thinking at that time, okay, like what else is going to come out of, out of Japan or somewhere in New Zealand or, you know, like Canada, UK, like Russia, I mean, amazing places. Um, I really enjoy seeing the results and, um, we're always searching for new competitions. Uh, we're always like basically adding um, more excitement to that competition because how you enter, you basically have like um, a chance to be a part of this global amazing like um, experience that we usually have once um, every year. And how you enter is just, you need two pictures, you need to select a great model. And basically like um, the whole thing, it's very, very simple. You select your model, you figure out the haircut that you're going to use. 
Then you have to like choose the proper haircut and style. The basically like the, the most important thing is that if your model has, um, you know, a certain texture, you need to know the hair. Like with Andrew, for example, um, I want to see like his best look and try to future that. So my personal suggestion is to pick a model that you can work with, maybe work with them for a little bit of time and uh, really understand the shapes that would photograph the best. Um, another tip that's very important is like oftentimes like when you photograph a haircut it's a little different than when you just do a haircut behind the chair so what we are looking for it's a picture that's with the model face forward and one picture with the model models profile so we can really see the balance in your haircut um, that's kind of what we are looking for as a result you need to also like write an inspiration behind why you did certain texture what exactly happened um, you know what products did you use of course the american crew products are mandatory and we do have to use them in order to be able to uh, qualify for that competition um, another thing with American Crew All Star Challenge is that you are able to then, you know, have uh, this global appearance. We support you with so much uh, press if you're one of the winners. We have to um, definitely like be careful with how we choose our model. I think the model it's important to be confident in front of the camera, you know, because they're going to have to be photographed. And then. Um, you know, technically, I think it's it's crucial to understand the lean toe shape um, and how you're going to represent the styling. Maybe like focus on like the details into um, the styling of your haircuts, because that's very important as well. Um, the winners, I believe this year are going to be five global winners and each of them would be actually getting a trip to Barcelona that's fully paid, a photo shoot with David Reculia, who is basically um, our creator of American Crew brand. And um, one of the other things that's really exciting is that you're going to get to meet a lot of the people who are part of, you know, these amazing um, kind of competition because you meet people from Russia, you meet people from, you know, all around the world and you get to work with all of them. Um, you get to see like how everything is done. And the actual thing that's even more exciting this year that this is not only for professionals uh, that have been in the industry for a long time, hairdressers with a lot of experience, but now we decided to add a student competition. Um, so the student competition, it's something that I'm personally so excited and looking forward to because I remember when I first started doing, um, you know, competitive uh, kind of like challenges for myself back in the day in Europe, I was not really scared and I was not really intimidated. I was just being very creative. I didn't follow the rules so much. And what happened with that was um, you just kind of go out of the box and create more interesting things. So the student will get a value of $2,000 worth of products, which is another great thing. I love getting my hands on different products and basically um, that felt really good. So we are offering that as well um, for the actual students. Um, I believe what I'm going to jump in to finish off, it's my transition now and I'm going to kind of like work with a razor over comb. It's a technique that's very important and kind of crucial for those of you who are interested to enter the competition because, you know, in All Star we are looking for kind of a new shapes. We are looking for interesting um, interesting kind of transitions. We're looking for unusual styles. We're looking for the overall look of the wardrobe of the model together with the actual like selection of the makeup. Uh, the photos are black and white. So you really want to be very detailed with your transition. So one ve very little trick that I would like to show you guys is um, how I always like to do a little bit of a razor over comb technique, which you can do on a very short hair or when you do your transition, you can actually like, kind of like push the hair and direct the hair forward with a razor over comb. So little things that 
would make a huge difference in your shape and help you straight, you know, kind of style the hair very nicely afterwards. Um, another thing that's very crucial for us uh, when you are a judge at that competition, the neckline. Make sure that all of these like perfect like transitions are done correctly. Um, I am a huge fan of the actual tapers uh, and usually a good haircut, it's recognized by a good taper. So that's one thing that we always look for. When you're taking the pictures of the All-Star Challenge, make sure that if you have an exceptional taper, you're going to show that on your photo. So I don't know, Paul, what do you think about like other suggestions that you have for what we're looking for? Because that's usually like, always exciting absolutely but... it, it's um this is such an amazing opportunity for the hairdressing community and students now to create their version of what the american crew image is right so if you know if if, if imagery has been such an important part of it and you guys get to actually create that and be part of that messaging it's just such a, a, an incredible opportunity and you know trust me having having the opportunity to work with david all these years um and, you know behind the camera and seeing what works and what doesn't work, both with what we produce and, and particularly with the American Crawl Star Challenge, you know, the, the model's really, really critical. Obviously, the detail work and, and, and what you're doing, have a very clear intention of what your shape is and finish it with, with absolute precision and detail, right? Don't, li don't li let anything, um, just, just refine that perimeter brilliantly like do the best taper that you've ever done if that's part of your haircut so just focus just know what your intention is and just nail it and um i feel like a lot of people have um won or lost the american curl star challenge based on the, the choice of the image right so the the I would, I would really recommend that you you study the American crew imagery and and look at the look at the positions that that um, the models are in, look at the imagery that's chosen, the angles that are chosen. Right, you obviously want want a front view and you want a, a profile of the shape, um, but you know within that. You you can you can get pretty creative with with what the models are doing. Um, I would just keep your background really simple and just focus on the haircut and choose the right image. So take a lot of let take a lot of photos and and make sure you just you you really uh, consider um, the choice of the image um, as well as you know the the model and the haircut itself. Um, but what a, it's just it's one of the most exciting aspects of American Crew is just seeing what everybody brings to the table for the challenge. Um, I just wanted to add uh, the the student winner. I'm going to be working with you personally. Um, I'm the global artistic director for American Crew, so I bring a lot of uh, of history and knowledge of, of of how we built this brand and and what the hair story really is. And and I, my favorite part, of, and I think the Navena would speak to this as well. The reason that we're still with American Crew is because of the education. So to be able to work with somebody at that grassroots level and, and help build your toolkit and, 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 and your eye um, and your skill set. So uh, it w it's just really exciting for me. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so you guys, I just want to get back real quickly to the haircut itself. So you'll notice those transition sections, everything was brought straight out from the head and I didn't round to the corner. That's really important for this, this collection is this stay square in the back. That corner, that square corner in the back now becomes your guide to the side. So I took basic horizontal sections. Those also came straight out. And then that guide at the top of the, you know, the, the division between the, the uh, at the top, the side to side section becomes your guide to the top link. So I just squared that off. So you end up getting a very, very square shape. I'm actually going to blow dry the shape. I, I just want to get some elevation. I definitely am going to keep his curl. I'm not going to try to over manipulate the curl, but I want to start building the shape a little bit and then I'm going to start refining it. Devena, where, where are you at in the process? So, um, same thing for me, the squareness, it's like really where it's at because I'm um, really trying to like bring this elongation um, in the hair and um, I did a little bit of a razor over comp again on each side with uh, multiple targets because I'm kind of uh, really trying to push this hair to elongate the shape. So in order to create a little bit of that feel, I would like to give my direction um, a little bit of an upward cut. But then the front here, uh, the hair at the, uh, I'm sorry, the hair at the top, I'd like to push forward. So I'm actually like, 
really directing like some of that hair at the very front. Um, and I think overall the idea is that Again, I want to like keep some of that natural curl through here, stretch it up a little bit, but really like see how the HQ could work on a different texture here. Because if you're coming from a place like, I, I guess like somewhat in Asia, you would have a certain texture of hair. If you're coming from Australia, you have different texture. If you're coming from, you know, like a Latin, con uh, Latin country, then, you know, you can't always expect your models to be, you know, with an actual straight hair, but the concept works for everybody. And uh, one thing that I really enjoy with, um, with, you know, this particular, shape is that um, it's a very versatile shape. You can apply it on shorter length or a longer length hair. So, um, and your interpretation could be anything you want. Um, basically like this part, it's like really what makes it so much more interesting and um, unique. So overall with Andrew, um, the tonic that we use, the prep and prime, really kind of set up those curls in here and um, I'm going to do a little bit of a freehand at the top just to kind of eliminate some of that like um, area that's really like more f kind of like standing out and not really balancing the shape. I'm going to use the Louis the 14 comb to like stretch it up a little bit and see, you know, what's not belonging there. And then visually, I would like to keep that squareness that you're seeing in the images behind us as well. I think overall, when you work with different curl texture, you have to be able to visually balance things because sometimes that's a challenge. And I was just talking to um, Paul before we started earlier that oftentimes you can just uh, you know, really like try to like see what results would work for each model versus trying to like, you know, do something that's not really appropriate for the texture of the hair. So with uh, the competition again, the All-Star Challenge, you know, I don't think I mentioned to you guys the dates because uh, you still have until May 15 to actually like enter your photos. Um, down below in the comments, you can see a lot of the information about how exactly uh, your photographer has to be selecting the actual like shot for you. It's important that, you know, when you see the texture on the hair, you have a white background that's not distracting in the back, so you can actually see every detail that's in there. We're going to announce the winner on June 14th, which is basically like the date when you would know if you're one of the winners that would get the $5,000 each. And then um, each country would actually announce their winner at that time. I believe last year or the year before, we had about like 32 or 34 countries that enter the competition. And uh, each country has thousands of, you know, applicants often, but, um, you know, a lot of them, if they don't have the proper setting, uh, if they don't have like the actual like photography done correctly, they're eliminated from the very beginning. So follow the rules, make sure that you go and bring those um, together on the website. Uh, one of the things that it's also very, very good to know is that you'll be able to um, work with David Traculia, have a photo shoot. The event will take place in Barcelona and um, I'm very much looking forward to it because it sounds like it's going to be a very fun time. Oh, so man. it's going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I do love that fact that it, ha it doesn't continue as a competition. Once once the five winners are chosen, it's then it's just go and be creative and get and work with David and, and do this really cool photo shoot. So I, I think that's that's amazing. Yeah, um, just just incredible opportunity. Um, so you guys, I, I want to talk a little bit about product. I, I know Nevena mentioned this prep and prime tonic. This is this is a game changer, I think, for for all of us. That it, particularly as a, a, a working product, I think that um, you're going to find being able to stay clean with your sections and build a little bit of texture as you're working is what you're going to love about this product. It just um, and then also as a you know, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna wash the hair, right? If somebody comes in and their texture is sort of ideal, you can just sort of mist it 
um, and, it, and it just brings just a little bit of texture, just kind of re, re, basically, you know, if there's already product in the hair, it sort of re-energizes that product. So um, you're going to love this. I think clients are going to like it for the same reason. I think guys are going to be able to get up, and if they already have product in their hair, be able to sort of miss the prep and prime on a day that they're not going to wash it. But this should be the base product before you put anything else in the hair from this point forward, right? I, I really think you're going to love this as much as we do. Um, so that, that's how we start everything. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, kind of what I've done from there. So I wanted to blow dry in the shape so I could start sort of seeing the squareness of the shape come together. And now I'm going to go in, if you guys are familiar with the Boost Powder. Um, I love this product for the memory and the grip and just being able to add volume to the hair without, without um, you know, having a, a product laden kind of quality to it. So I'm just going to go in with a pretty heavy dosage of this. Just because I want, I, you know, obviously the whole story with with HQ is 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 defying gravity, um, so this is going to be immensely helpful to that process. And I actually used pomade for Andrew, and um, uh, the pomade also helps me to like kind of like see the details of the haircut. And I am going to do a little detail and finish. Pomade in general, it's one of our original products and I absolutely love using it for wavy hair. It is water-based, um, very easy to use. So when you're doing the competition with American Crew All-Star Challenge, you need to pick your favorite product and you need to tell us why did you use that product. So it's important that you familiarize yourself with the actual um, different brands, uh, the different, I'm sorry, different products in, within our brand. And um, what I love about pomade, it's water-based, so it's very easy to kind of be versatile with this usage but tell us your story right because Absolutely. i guess it's important to like tie up a product to your yeah to your image um, all right so you guys i'm, I'm literally just going to go and take the clipper comb and just secure the hair and just refine that square shape over the comb okay and make sure i'm not cutting the corners but i'm just almost just sort of eliminating anything that's in the interior that's going to detract from that squareness. So that's why that blow drying is, is, is really key so that you can kind of see the, the hair and the texture that it lives in so that you can finish the haircut properly. And for me, the detail and finish is uh, with a little bit of a sheer over comp just to kind of like eliminate anything that I'm not uh, enjoying there, but like really keeping all of that squareness as well um, and try to like show exactly where the texture like ends and like where the actual blending starts. Um, I like that, you know, you can kind of see the actual like graduation and it's something that normally you don't really see so much of, but it's a very masculine kind of solid shape um, inspired by the 90s. And it had like a lot of like great story behind it with all the, you know, like military inspiration, but also you can see this shape in so many cool ways. Um, I also think you can make it a lot more aggressive, which makes it more interesting and have a lot of this connection uh, when you're actually working with different kind of texture hair. Um, also, I would go right now and just finalize a little bit the sideburns. Uh, you can go as aggressive as you want, uh, as aggressively short as you want on the sides here, but um, what I'm really enjoying is this angle and the fact that you can go, um, you know, and kind of follow that shape, which I believe it works really well for, you know, like that area of the hair that's usually growing out the fastest. Clients are always requesting um, shorter sides and longer tops. So I kind of like that it's a very practical collection as well from a consumer standpoint. So um, here it's important thing to, to mention, um, the image you have to choose has to be a classic or like texture look or, you know, some barbering inspired look, but anything that you think you feel comfortable with doing and that would also work for your model, it's what we are looking for. So somebody that's like having a nice natural texture, um, would look probably better with that texture being enhanced. And um, 
you know, like try to make sure that your model doesn't have a receding hairline, for example, or if you're using the product that Paul mentioned, Boost Powder, that's a great way to also like um, enhance the quality of whatever look you're doing. And it really would help you quite a bit. So. Yeah, I actually, you know, the, um, the Boost Powder, I mean, in terms of what, it, what it's given us the ability to do on, on various textures has been really, really key. Um, you know, and I also think as we're kind of working this HQ and obviously, I mean, just the whole reason we do collections is to just kind of get your juices going, right? Kind of focus on what's relevant in men's hair and kind of a new direction in men's hair. Um, but we want you to incorporate these techniques and create your own variations of it. And I would say the same is true of the, of the all-star challenge is just, just really kind of bring your own creativity. I love the fact that the way that we've created um, the category, so when you go to the website, whatever whatever is is kind of your focal point, um, there's a category for it. So, um, and you'll be able to work work from, from whatever concept um, it fits that story for you. So um, I am gonna go in with a little bit of the molding clay. This is one of my favorite products. Um, this is my, my go-to. A little, just kind of a natural shine. I just wanna, I just wanna enhance this texture a little bit. I'm not trying to add a lot of shine or, or any kind of excessive hold. Um, so I'm just going with like a, a medium dosage of molding clay. And I'm just gonna press it mainly in the ends. And I may do a little bit more razor over comb. I like this shape, Paul. It looks really good. Thank you. I, uh, yeah, I really think it. you did magic with the length that we have. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I just, I just didn't, his texture's so cool, I didn't want to like stretch it all out, right? It's just, I want to kind of keep that. So inspired by American Crew All-Star Challenge, again, professional stylists all over the world are able to enter. Students from the United States are able to enter as well. American Crew is bringing this competition to all of you guys. And we are going to have the winner announced on June 14th. Five winners from all around the world are going to go to Barcelona for all paid trip. So really inspiring time, don't you think? Yes, the best yeah, of the yeah, year for us. I think us. it's the most inspiring time. I think it's the coolest thing that we do. I'd love to see everybody jump in and get involved with it. Um, and as always, it's, it was lovely to be here with you again today. Um, and you guys, thank you to Behind the Chair um, for everyone for watching. Uh, we just want to close with a little video um, featuring some of the imagery from the All-Star Challenge. Get your juices going. So thank you again for joining us. We'll see you again. See you soon. All-Star Challenge. And um, we're about to kick off for this year. It's just such an, a cool, simple, brilliant competition for people to enter. Obviously the biggest and most important part of All-Star Challenge is the technical excellence and the talent of the person entering the contest. The hairdresser needs today to be more than just a great hair cutter. They need to be a good art director. You have an opportunity to take an amazing photograph through with American Crew and have a global look at it. How do you stand up to the global community? I think that's super cool. You know, I'll never take it for granted, David, getting to work with you behind the camera. The idea that you would get to work with you and collaborate with you and, 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 and bring a shoot together with you is, is I, I think, um, uh, a life-changing experience for everybody that gets involved with this. So Barcelona, one of my favorite cities in the world, as a backdrop to this wonderful celebration of fashion and hair, they'll be very proud to be part of a collaboration with global stylists and a photographer who just loves to work with them. You can enter from the 1st of March to May 15th.